I might miss a McDonald's sandwich when I leave this country. I don't wanna fall in love like this But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly I mean, it's really burning my mouth and I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. I love this cake. I wish there was a real life size of this thing and I can just jump on it. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> so soft. Mm. I feel like I've been eating more than usual to offset my deep depression. Uh, because I'm leaving this wonderful food heaven of a country. So tonight, um, I'm gonna do one of two things. I've been trying to get into this buffet at the Ritz Carlton, the Colony Buffet. I heard it's wonderful and it's completely booked out. So I'm gonna go there before it opens and see if I can beg my way in or something. If not, this is gonna be a McDonald's video. Wow, what two extreme different side of a spectrum. The Colony Buffet is located inside the Ritz Carlton. So a lot of you guys actually ask me, do I contact the restaurants before I, I go in there and film? And usually the answer is no, because um, to keep my reviews as objective as possible, like I, I don't want the owner sitting next to me when I'm talking about their food, which they will do if you tell them you're coming. Look how pretty this buffet is. Like, it's just so elegant. There's tons of people here waiting for it. I don't think I'm getting in. I mean, the food guy's been really good to me, like, my entire life, but this doesn't look that good. Oh, well, I wanna go eat at McDonald's anyway. All right, so I couldn't get in. They are completely fully booked. I didn't know I wanted to come here until like a week before I was coming to Singapore, and by then, this place was already booked. Like I said, I wanted to go eat at McDonald's anyway, so I'm gonna go do that. But I did leave a number, so in case... Good evening. Good evening, thank you. In case something happens, they're gonna give me a call. All right, well, I probably can't find a McDonald's anywhere near this fancy schmancy neighborhood. Evidently, I was mistaken. There is a McDonald's in uh, Marina Bay Square, which is right next to the hotel, but look at this. I'm walking towards it, and this velvet robe is the only thing that separates me from buffet greatness. This guy here, that's a representation of how I feel right now. That could be me. You know, except for behind the rope. So I'd be like... Peach pie, chicken burger, beef burger. Of course, I'm getting that pandan kong. And also, everyone, like literally everyone's been telling me, I gotta try the McChicken sandwich, the spicy McChicken sandwich. It's something I usually would not because it's everywhere in the world, but apparently in Singapore, it's different. Prosperity beef burger, prosperity chicken burger, latte Himalayan tea, sweet. Peach pie, for sure. Oh, this is interesting. A buttermilk crispy chicken. If I get this, it better have the character tea written on it, because otherwise it's false advertisement. Okay, there's the McSpicy. Prosperity feast. Hot cakes with golden chicken. That's just pancakes with a slice of chicken pie. That's stretching a little bit. This is a ch prosperity chicken. It seriously kind of looks like a McRib. If you don't know it's chicken, it looks like a McRib. Very, very saucy. And this is the beef. Oh man, this thing is even saucier than the chicken. Cows do have more fun, huh? The regular McChicken. Honestly, the McChicken sandwich in Singapore is massive. The McChicken, I mean, let me pull up a photo of what a McChicken looks like in the US. And this is what a Singapore McChicken looks like. I mean, it is just a thick piece of chicken. And the double, oh my gosh. That's how thick one is. 
This is how thick two is. That is massive. This is the buttermilk chicken sandwich. Oh, actually that's really pretty. Purple cabbage, a piece of cheese on the bottom. Looks like some sauce, lettuce. Also, again, super massive, big slice of chicken. Oh my gosh, a couple slices of pineapple on top. Wow, 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 wow. Also, this is pretty cool. Chili sauce. All right, so this is my prosperity feast at Singapore McDonald's, and so far, everything actually looks really, really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna do something I don't typically do, which is I'm gonna start off with dessert because I want to eat this pie at its maximum hotness. That's also where you want to find a date, the maximum hotness. Pie is not a date. This is the peach pie, and it looks like the surface of the moon. It's all crater-esque, very flaky, a little red. Let's crack this baby open. Ooh. Ooh. Just by breaking this open, I can tell how incredibly flaky and crispy this is. And this actually smells incredible. So much peach aroma. It smells like a peach orchard. It doesn't even smell artificial. It just smells like real peach and strongly of that. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I've had all sorts of pie at McDonald's. The apple pie. Okay, that was like the only thing I can remember because everything else kind of just faded into my memory, but I'm gonna remember this pie, that bite, for the rest of my life, for a long, long time. This is absolutely incredible. First of all, it is just cooked perfectly. Listen to the crunch. McDonald's, if you're watching this, that is the greatest pie you ever made. Everybody needs to have this pie. Just the most delightfully flaky, crispy crust and just warm, Mildly sweet, not overly sweet. Peach filling. I didn't even get into the burgers yet. This, brava. Can we just boot the apple pie from our stores and replace it with this? Can we upgrade, please, McDonald's? All right, let's get to the burgers. This is the Prosperity Chicken Sandwich. I mean, it is a saucy hoagie with uh, some onions and it looks like uh, black pepper sauce on a sesame bun. This is pretty funny. These are Prosperity curly fries. I have so much prosperity on my plate right now. I mean, I, I wish I could give you guys some of my prosperity and also maybe some chili sauce to go with the prosperity. I love the sauce. The chicken, it kind of tastes like a tofu chicken. It is like far off from like a fresh chicken sandwich, but that sauce, that is an amazing sauce. And it's spicy because of how much pepper is in here. I don't even care how the chicken tastes. It's really, the sauce is making this entire sandwich so thick and smoky and sweet, spicy. McDonald's, you can bottle that and I'd be the first one to buy it. Go sip up my uh, McCafe tea latte. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. This is better than anything you'd get at Starbucks. Chili sauce. Prosperity fries taste just like regular curly fries, but the chili sauce is actually pretty excellent here. Much better alternative than just ketchup. A little sweet, a little spicy. All right, this is the beef sandwich. I feel like from my experience eating the chicken sandwich, the beef one's gonna be better because this peppery sauce, it's more suited for like a piece of steak. Mm-hmm. Much better. Oh man, this sauce. If you guys are familiar with uh, Cantonese cuisine, there's a dish called peppery sizzling beef ribs. It's basically the same exact sauce. It's a soy based sauce and it's slightly sweet, very, very peppery. It's an amazing dish. I think they just implemented that into a sandwich, which is just ingenious. Mm. And also, the beef patty tastes a lot better than the chicken. Uh, I'm sorry the chicken. I do like the crunchy onions to give this slightly different texture. Eating this, I feel my prosperity growing already. So this is what everyone is telling me to get at the McDonald's here. So all my Singapore friends out there, you guys probably grew up with this, okay? This is what it looks like in our country. Can you see why I wasn't even thinking about getting this when I came here? But this sandwich looks insane. Couple of massive pieces of chicken. They look actually really crispy and juicy as well. This is what a chicken sandwich should look like, McDonald's. Mm, first time I make chicken sandwich is actually crunchy. That bite I took, it barely breached the edge of the chicken, but that batter is amazing. It is really spicy. I mean, this is above Firebell taco sauce spicy. I mean, it's really burning my mouth and I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. The chicken patty itself is actually quite juicy. This is so good. I mean, I actually feel like I'm eating chicken right now, which is such a difference than my previous McDonald's experiences. That spice, those chilies are burning my nostrils right now. And that's what I like. This is the buttermilk chicken sandwich. 
and just look at the colors. I've never had a McDonald's sandwich with pineapple in there before, and I'm very excited to try. This is really McDonald's because I'm really loving it. This might be the best McDonald's sandwich I've ever had in my global McDonald's tour. I might miss a McDonald's sandwich when I leave this country. That rarely happens. That's never happened. <laughs> Mrs. McDonald's. It's melty Kobe cheese, slightly peppery mayonnaise, the chicken perfect, the crunchy purple lettuce is the ideal component to offset the creaminess of the sandwich and the pineapple. I dare you to say something bad about pineapples and burgers. You, you can't, okay? You just can't. Plus this bun is so nice and fluffy. Mm. Everything you want in a delicious sandwich, creaminess, crunchiness, sweetness, savory, peppery, cheesy, whatever you want, this sandwich has it. This is like the Miss Universe of McDonald's sandwiches right here. I don't even think most McDonald's chicken sandwiches are made from chicken. Why can't we have something like this? It's just not fair, you know? This is the Haha ha Chengai chicken wings. I live by the principles of saving the best for last. That's my rule number one when it comes to food. I don't know why I saved this for the, I mean, maybe it was just tiny, I just didn't see it. But this is the Puan Paste fried chicken wings. I gotta say, Singapore, you guys do chicken right. Crunchy, it's juicy. It does have a little seafood taste to it. Mm. And the matcha latte is wonderful. Again, McDonald's, if you're watching, I have a really serious question for you. Why is our McDonald's in the US so bad? Like seriously, do you, do you, do you hate us? Like, it, did we? make you mad at some point. Why does our chicken not taste like chicken? A little chicken wing tastes better than any chicken sandwich I had in the States. I don't know why this is. 7-Elevens, McDonald's, Burger King as well, like basically all fast food. In our country of origin, it tastes so bad. All right, there's one more thing I need from this McDonald's. Let's go get that. Can I get a pandan cone? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> pandan ice cream cone. Mm. Oh, that's actually really nice pandan flavor. Mm -hmm. Pretty excellent McDonald's meal. I mean, this this ranks it up there. This is one of the best, if not the best, McDonald's meals I've had. Might be even better than Japan. I think it actually is. I thought a couple of these uh, dessert items might go really well together. Take this out. I got another pie. Well, I ate half of it already, but there's a pie. And I'm gonna smother some pandan ice cream on it. I'm so excited about this. If you come to McDonald's, make sure you do this. Crunchy peach pie, smooth, creamy, pandan soft serve ice cream. Those two things belong together. Seriously, that's some dessert soulmate stuff. I don't think I've ever left a McDonald's feeling so happy before. <laughs> I am gonna go back to that buffet, but honestly, this was not bad of a dinner alternative. I mean, they're drastically different things, but I'm pretty satisfied right now. Anyway, that's it for my review of McDonald's here in Singapore. If you've been to McDonald's in Singapore, let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we eat again, see you later.